Hey there guys, ANSYG123 with another Frostpunk tutorial. <clears throat> this time it's going to be on Steam Cores and Outposts, so it's just going to be a bit of a short video today. So Steam Cores, they are very precious material in uh, our resource you could say in Frostpunk. Uh, they are very important for using on certain advanced buildings. Um, they are quite a rare resource and they can't be made yourself um, this is why I'm also tying outposts to this video because that's another way you can get more steam cores this is only in a specific scenario which I'll go on later on in the video um, now obviously with steam cores you need them to run automatons which are robots which basically can do a whole um, buildings workforce and as here that was a uh, Tesla C so that is where you can basically get somewhat unlimited steam cores which you get one a day for building an outpost on it now with steam cores it's you can put them in hot houses uh, coal mines wall drills and these are really good buildings for getting resources um, and infirmaries Really nice ones, really nice buildings they are to have. But obviously, we need to make sure you've got plenty of steam cores. Um, so that's pretty much all steam cores. There's no other way you can get them, nothing like that. Now, onto the outposts. These are, you can usually only build one or two outposts in your city at any one time. And these are only in the main scenarios. Endless doesn't count, you can't get them in that. Um, and either there'll be like a coal mine or fishing village um, or like a steel wreck or something like that and you'll usually get about 100 steel a day uh, 100 food I believe as well and then you get 800 coal from the coal mines or 100 wood depending we get them they could be forests or like winter home for example um, but Tesla City that's where you get them steam cores on a daily basis and they are fantastic for that um, so obviously you need to research that in tech level 2 I believe yes um, so once you build those you can build teams for about 10 people and they are well worth it they are well worth it it does give you the choice to take more steam cores and more resources back um, rather than build outposts but that's completely up to you um, so that's pretty much all our posts. You know, any other questions, then feel free to put in the comments. And I will leave it there. So enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully you've learned a bit more about Steam cores, the uses, and everything else along with lines. Um, so happy Frostpunkin, I say. And I'll see you in the next one.